So can I ask you all got to log on to your computers and then we'll load up Minecraft. Microsoft bought this highly popular game for two and a half billion dollars back in 2014. Since then, behind closed doors, it's been developing a version specifically for use in the classroom. A couple of months ago, the Minecraft Education Edition started its public beta, offering schools the chance to try it out and incorporate it into lessons. And because they say that teaching others helps one to learn, Jacob is helping me out. Let's build a gate. What do yeah, I actually do? So, um, you press number four, right? And then you put three blocks next to each other. Okay. Now, logic gates are the building blocks of computer science, the things that govern what the ones and zeros do inside your machine. And it just so happens that the creative building environment of Minecraft lets you build and visualize logic gates really easily. You put the lever, so that's number two. Yeah, okay. And then torches above them on the block. In fact, all the students here have played Minecraft before, and that's the theory behind using it in class. It's familiar, and it's fun. What do you think about using Minecraft to do it rather than just the whiteboard? Uh, I guess it's different and unique. Yeah. Because we kind of know what we've all played Minecraft, so we're all kind of interested to see how we can use it in lesson. I can see why the students have hit the ground running and can immediately engage with the game, but what about the teachers who have to plan their lessons inside Minecraft? There's a big education community out there on the uh, my Minecraft education website, and most of the teachers are on there communicating with each other at the moment and getting ideas, which is great. Uh, but to pick it up and use it, it's like any tool, to be honest. So if you have to use PowerPoint, how long does that take to pick up? And what sort of thing can you Build. I mean, it, it requires a level of creativity from the teacher, doesn't it? Oh, It's absolutely. not just writing things on the whiteboard, yeah. it's building things and in, in a way that the, the students can learn from. Exactly. Uh, I mean, for example, I've seen people who have used it in English lessons before, where they've made like theatres, so they've talked about Romeo and Juliet and got students to think a bit more about how things were back then. Uh, I've actually seen students in science lessons who have made the whole respiratory system as well and <laughs> you, know, you, you go in through the diaphragm and they put labels all around the different wow. parts of the body it's just fantastic